Hello everyone. Today you're going to watch another iconic western, Fred Zinnemann's High Noon, starring Gary Cooper, Grace Kelly, Katie Hirado, Lloyd Bridges, Harry Morgan, Lee Van Cleef, Robert Wilkie, Sheb Woolley, and Thomas Mitchell, whom you may remember from Stagecoach, in which he played Doc Boone. This was Grace Kelly's first significant film role. You'll notice the vast difference in age between Cooper and Kelly. Uh, he was 50 and she was only 21. High Noon takes place in the fictional town of Hadleyville, New Mexico Territory, sometime in the 1870s or 1880s. But it was filmed mostly in Burbank, California at the Columbia Studios Movie Ranch as well as other California locales, including the Iverson Movie Ranch, the Columbia State Historic Park, Tuolumne City, and Jamestown. The film is allegedly based on a short story, Tin Star, by John Cunningham, which was published in Collier's Magazine in 1947, but there's almost no resemblance between the two stories. Still, Carl Foreman, who wrote the screenplay, feared that what little overlap there was could result in a charge of plagiarism, so he credited the story. Instead, High Noon speaks to the political atmosphere of the 1950s. Foreman's initial intent was to comment on Hollywood's tendency to attack and oust political dissidents. During production, however, Foreman was called before the House Un-American Activities Committee, or HUAC, where Senator Joseph McCarthy accused him of being a member of the Communist Party and asked him to name other members. Now, Foreman had once indeed been a Communist Party member, but he had quit a decade earlier after enlisting in the U.S. Army to fight in World War II. Unlike many actors, Foreman refused to cooperate with McCarthy's witch hunt and refused to provide names of other former communists. He then revised the script into an allegory for the cowardice and complacency of the Hollywood community during the McCarthy hearings. While he continued to work on the film, he was blacklisted afterwards and moved to Britain. The cinematographer, Floyd Crosby, father of the famous folk rock singer David Crosby, was also blacklisted. Despite this controversy, High Noon was nominated for seven Academy Awards and won Best Actor for Gary Cooper's performance, as well as for Best Original Score, Best Song, sung by Tex Ritter, and Best Editing. It also won four Golden Globes for Best Actor, Best Supporting Actress by Katie Hirado, the first Latina to win a Golden Globe, and she also won an award for Most Promising Newcomer and it won for Best Cinematography uh, for uh, Floyd Crosby's work and Best Score. It also won an award from the Writers Guild of America for Best Screenplay and the award for Best Film from the New York Film Critics Circle. The plot takes place in real time with the clock ticking down toward the arrival of Frank Miller, a murderer who has just been pardoned and holds a grudge against the town marshal, Will Kane, a man who had arrested him and then for a time had taken up with his girlfriend, Helen Ramirez. The story focuses on Kane, who must decide whether to defend his community and face down a gang of killers on his own, or leave town with his new bride, Amy, a Quaker pacifist. If you pay close attention, you'll see similarities between the film and the climax of the novel, The Virginian. As you watch the film, pay attention to gender dynamics, Western violence, the value of law and order, the theme of duty and honor, and of course, the moral of the story. Enjoy. <laughs> 